Today's the big day. It's officially time to announce the theme for March. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. The moment of truth. The moment of glory. Drum roll, please. By the way, if you don't care what March's theme is, there's a timestamp in the description below and you can just click on that to skip all this. The March theme is coming after the intro. I'm sorry, that was completely unnecessary but I just really wanted to do it. So apparently I didn't give nearly enough hints because nobody even came close to guessing what the theme was. In fact, all day on Monday, my brother was texting me trying to get more hints out of me because he said he couldn't even think of anything to guess. But since apparently I made it way too hard so that nobody even wanted to try to answer, I'm just gonna go ahead and give a shout out to the people who did answer because at least they tried. So to those of you who played the game, Thanks for playing. Now, on to the official announcement. Can we get that drum roll back, please? And March's theme is... Women! I honestly thought I made it a little too obvious. March, however, is a very special month. I'll give you a hint. The Film Friday clip goes along with the theme. Young man, sometimes the right path is not the easiest one. Give it up for my wife, Victoria. Today's quote comes from an author named Barbara Cameron. So I didn't even realize it until a couple of months ago, but March is actually National Women's History Month. It's also a lot of other things. Music in Our Schools Month, National Celery Month, National Frozen Food Month. But to me, National Women's History Month is probably the most worthwhile. Although St. Patrick's Day is this month, and it's also National Irish American Heritage Month. So for the month of March, I thought it would be appropriate to celebrate women and all of the contributions that they've made in our world and more specifically in our faith. That's why every video this month is going to have something to do with women. It'll either feature a woman, be a quote by a woman, be about women in general, etc. But every video this month in some way is going to connect back to the celebration of women. And of course, the Word of God Wednesday theme will be no different. So as you may have noticed from the title, during the month of March, we're going to be looking at women who are noted in the Hall of Faith out of Hebrews chapter 11. And I'm really excited about this Bible study because we never really talk about these women, probably because there's really not a whole lot said about them. But these women have some incredible stories. The first one we're going to be talking about is Sarah. And here's what the text says about her. By faith, Sarah herself received power to conceive, even when she was past the age, since she considered him faithful who had promised. And if you're like me, you're probably thinking, wow, seriously, only one verse? And yeah, most of the women that we're going to look at during Word of God Wednesdays this month don't even have that many. But this one verse says an incredible amount about who Sarah was as a person. Obviously, there's a ton of negative things that we could say about Sarah, specifically the whole laughing at God and then lying about it thing. But from this verse, we learn that even in spite of her flaws, even in spite of her shortcomings, once Sarah got on board, she was all in. Even though she knew that what was going to happen was completely impossible. Sarah was 90 years old when she conceived Isaac. I realized that during that time, it seems like humans had a lot more vitality than we do today. I mean, technically Sarah did live to be 127. But what this verse in Hebrews tells us is that it was because of her faith her faith that God was faithful that she was able to conceive. At 90 years old, after who knows how many years of trying, and after starting the whole mess with her maidservant because she had given up. Even with everything bad that you could say about Sarah, you have to admit that that is an incredible 
amount of faith. And that's not even all of the incredible things that she did. In fact, there's enough that I could probably do another follow-up video, if not two. So let me know if you guys want me to do that because Sarah was an incredible woman. So as you're going about your day, remember Sarah's faith. Remember the faith that she had that God is faithful. Don't forget about the fact that she was 90. It was impossible for her to have children, and yet she did because she believed God's promise and she put her trust in Him. And model that kind of faith. Strive for that kind of faith. Whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. You need that kind of faith because that's the kind of faith that gets God's attention and leads to you doing incredible things for him. Like being the mother to an entire nation of God's people, even though you were only able to have one child and that child in your old age. If this video encouraged you to have a faith like Sarah's, then please consider sharing it with somebody else so that they can receive that same motivation too. And don't forget to let me know in the comments if you want me to do a follow-up video about Sarah. Like the video if you liked it, and subscribe if you aren't already. And don't forget, we're not gonna have a Friday video this week, but next week, Victoria's gonna be doing our film Friday, so you don't wanna miss that one. Thanks for watching, now get out there and go do good.